What's going on you guys? Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Today I am super excited to introduce you to my new favorite budget 3D printer. The Elgoo Neptune 3. Check this out. Let's get cracking. The Neptune 3 is packaged super well with two layers of foam. You'll want to make sure and not throw away the little yellow card in there. Those are important instructions. Basically, you have a base and an upright and four bolts. What you'll want to do is you'll want to start two of the bolts on one side. Just, just barely tighten them and then you'll want to put two on the other side. Then you'll want to go back and make sure the upright is perpendicular to the base and then you'll go back and then start cranking down these screws just to make sure that everything is nice and tight. The power supply is set to by default at 230 volts so if you're in the US you need to make sure that you flip this switch from 230 over to 115. Now if you're in one of the European countries that uses 230 volts you can leave it alone. All the other instructions are straightforward. You basically attach the power supply, plug in all the wires, attach your handle, and attach your filament holder, and you're done. Features that set apart the Neptune 3 from the Neptune 2 are these belt tensioning knobs on the X and Y axis. Very easy. You just basically dial in the tension. And check this handle out. Yes, it turns your Neptune into a suitcase. You can carry it around. Not one, but two parts cooling fans. That is very nice as the Neptune 2 only had one. Check out this filament runout sensor. There's two wheels that guide the filament from one end to the other. You have to use a little bit of force to push the filament through, but ah, it features beautiful double gear metal extruder. The Neptune 3 features a PEI spring steel magnetic platform that has a texture on one side and smooth on the other. The 250 watt hotbed can quickly heat up to 100 degrees Celsius to meet the needs of different filament materials and avoid a warping. Hey look mom, no leveling wheels. That's right, the Neptune 3 features auto bed leveling. Elgo uses an auto leveling system uh, by using a resistance strain gauge. This is very similar to the Anycubic Viper uh, that uses an resistance strain gauge for its auto bed leveling and they seem to work out really well. So what it does is it compensates for any slight variations and unevenness between the heated bed and the print head, ensuring a consistent distance between the nozzle and the heated bed and a perfect first layer. Hey, check this out. The Neptune 3 features a removable control panel connected to this phone cord. Looks like an RJ45 connector. So, you know, you know, you're back in the 70s, you know, and you're on the phone and you're just wrapping yourself around the cord and then, the, you know, the... Uh, well, if you were born in the 70s, you, you know, you, you know, you know, you know, this, okay. Very simple, very simple to use. The only thing I don't like about it is on the files, uh, compared to the Neptune 2, where the Neptune 2 had little thumbnails of the actual objects, Eh, it was only, I guess if you created it in Elegoo's version of Cura that you would have the little thumbnails. Uh, this does not, so hopefully they'll fix this in a firmware update. So enough talk, Mr. 3D Print Farmer. Let's go check out how this thing prints.
So, what do you guys think about the Elegoo Neptune 3? You know, I was skeptical at first for the price and all of the features that this thing has. And this is, this is it's such an upgrade from the Neptune 2. I mean, the Neptune 2 is a great printer. I mean, if you get that thing dialed in, I mean, it just prints flawlessly. But this, this is definitely a step in the right direction. Elegoo has been listening to you, and they have added features to this printer. If you're a new user and you're a new into 3D printing, this is a great bargain right here. This is a bargain printer for $209 and I think this is a that's a pre-sale but if you sign up for their newsletter they knock another $10 off so that's around 200 bucks for all the features that you get with this printer the big thing for me is the bed leveling because I know that is a killer for some folks especially new folks is getting that bed level and the auto bed leveling system here or the resistance strain gauge takes that out of the equation again I highly recommend this and I give two thumbs up to the Elegoo Neptune 3 once again thanks for joining us here on 3d print farm I hope you enjoyed yourself I know I did I'm going to put links in the description below to all of the models that I featured here today and links to the artists that created those models. Please go out and visit them and just tell them how much you appreciate them. Uh, I appreciate you and I hope to see you again soon next time on 3D Print Farm and make sure if you haven't liked and subscribed please hit that subscription button. We are awfully trying. I am desperately trying to get to 50,000 subscribers so I need your help and I promise you I have got some giveaways I've got some content that is I've got dogs barking in the background I promise you I have lots coming your way with giveaways I've got great content never before seen footage right here on the 3d print farm all right now guys uh, once again, we'll see you again next time on 3D Print Farm. Bye now.